This is an unboxing, first impressions of the Scorpion Armament H15 ACOG style uh, scope. Uh, it's a 2.5 to 10 power by 40 um, compact scope. Uh, it's similar to the the BSA and the, the AIM Sports and the uh, Nick Star. Um, so the price on it was a little bit cheaper, but it, I don't know, I, I thought I'd give it a, a shot and see what it was like. Um, so let's open the box and see what it looks like. Alright, first off, it, these are just like do-it-yourself printer labels. So generic, very generic picture showing the, the styloscope but with the laser on it and then it shows that it's a non-laser version which is what I was wanted. I had the laser, I had the uh, the aim sport laser style on my last AR uh, and I liked it but the laser I didn't really ever use so I thought I'd save the, the money and go without the laser. Uh, let's see, it's showing the model, it's a H15 2.5 by 10 mil dot, which I don't think it said what type it was in the description, uh, what type of sight tech it actually had on it, so it's the mil dot, which I prefer. Um, other than that, just a generic double wall cardboard box. <laughs> so opening it up, uh, opening it up, let's see what we got. It had a plastic wrap on it that I already took off. Uh, comes with the Allen key for attaching it and adjusting. A uh, little button battery for the illumined uh, crosshairs. Now a plus on this over the Aim Sport and the Nick Stars um, does come with the, the scope caps. Let's see. Uh, it's, let's see if we can see, it's got the yellow tint and clear dust covers. Um, looks like it's a, a green finish on the lens, kind of a, a coating. Let's see if I can get it to reflect, there we go. Anyways, uh, overall first impressions. It's really tight. There we go. Focus and zoom. Let's see if we can focus down it. Probably not at this time, but it looks like it's pretty good quality. Now, I, something I can say on the Aim Sport and the Next Stars that I've used and seen. Uh, let's see if I can focus it. The Picatinny rail. Was, was an issue. Um, it wasn't machined out right and it didn't grab the, the Picatinny properly. You could see where it was gouging in on the sides uh, where it was slightly misshapen. Um, so we'll see how this one mounts up if it mounts good. Um, I'll do another review of it with it on the rifle, zeroing it. Um, something else to keep in mind with all this style of scope is you really need to Tighten up these base screws before you shoot it or else they will rattle loose. Um, it's like it's got a five position selector. Let's see if we, yeah, there we go. So that's the red. And we can let's see if we can turn up the green all the way. And yeah, we got the green. So that's a plus, so I guess it comes with an extra battery, which is nice. See if we can get this to actually show you what it's like in there. If we have a white background we can be looking through so we can actually see.
Anyways. Anyways, it's the mill, it's the mill dot, which is basically a crosshair with uh, MOA dots going up to the center. Um, anyways, first impression, it appears to be good quality, sharp looking. It's got a matte finish to it. The only thing I don't really care for is the size of the logo on the on the scope, but it's not too bad. It's not unattractive, it's just I don't care for that size of logo on there. Anyways, uh, I'll mount it to the rifle and I'll give it another review. Thanks.